Welcome to the John Legato Show. I'm John Legato. You know, every once in a while, we meet a cop who knows what he's doing, says what he's doing, and then does it. This cop should be the model for all police officers dealing with auditors. Meet Frank the Cop. Do you have a driver's license? I got my ID with me. Uh, that's not a driver's license. It is identification. Though, okay. Is. No, no, absolutely it is. Um, I, do you I, have a Do you have a valid driver's license? Yeah, it's only where I got put over for so. Because you don't have a valid driver's license. How do you know I don't have a valid driver's license? Because you're the registered owner of this vehicle. Uh, you have to get a supervisor out here because you're not telling me what you're talking for. Because you are the registered owner of this vehicle and you do not have a valid driver's license. You know, car supervisor first, eh? Because so, yeah, so we don't. You, you didn't. You didn't pull me over just for like, just to take my name. Yeah, that's actually exactly what I did. You wanted my ID, like, there's my identification. That's right. You see our registration, current proof insurance for your vehicle, also, please. I'm not getting you nothing because you didn't tell me what I get pulled over for. I already told you. No, he did. I said you do not you have a valid license. No, nah, dude, I'm not gonna get bullied today. I'm not gonna get bullied by a cop. What about this is being bullied? You, 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 you're gonna enforce it. I know that. So. I am because it's the law, you're, right? Because you're being a bully right now, dude. Well, you never what, told me what I got pulled over for. You just want to check my name? That's the legal I can. Well, I well I told you because I already checked your name, and that's okay. how I know that you're. So then I'm free to go because I have no warrants, right? Well, you're not free to go because you're no. driving while your license is currently suspended. No. No. Nope. No. What about you don't that? You want to run my ID? I already know. I already ran it. So you just like ran everybody's privacy or what? Yeah, you have no expectation. For no, for, for no traffic, I didn't cross lanes or overcross the speed. I was like, okay. I'm so gonna fight it. I'm gonna fight it. Dude. You can you can fight it all you want. You have no expectation of privacy on the information contained on your on your license plate. I know. And you're the registered owner of this vehicle, right? Which means that when I run your license plate and I check your license status and it comes up as being suspended from a citation that you received from Chandler Police Department. It gives me what's called reasonable suspicion. So are you refusing to provide all the other information that I requested? Yeah, because I gave you an idea already. Okay, absolutely. Hang tight, sir. Hey, for all you First Amendment commandos out there, this auditor is not your friend. The cop ran a license plate. It came back to a guy with a suspended license. This is more than reasonable suspicion since the computer data is probable cause. If you're moaning and groaning that a cop has the right to run any license plate, then get a new hobby. Oh, that's not it. That's, that's just invasion of privacy, dude. I, I don't, that's not the way things work. Look, you want to take my car. That's, I see what you're trying to do, dude. Well, why would I want your car? Because you Have you used methamphetamine lately? No, I see. You're just being a bully, dude. Uh, there's nothing about this. It's just an investigatory question because you seem to be showing those signs and symptoms that would be consistent with it. So I should just calm down then. Well, I mean, I'm calm. If you were doing it right, you'd be, you'd be physically enforced right now, dude. But right now, you're waiting on somebody else to help you. Shit, I'm not. I'm not. Because you're really being a bully, dude. That's what it is. Okay. Well, would you be willing to do some field sobriety tests for me just to make sure that you're that you're okay and that you're sober? What do you mean? Why? You didn't, you didn't tell me I was swerving, I was doing this and very gay. You don't, you don't have to. It's... It's yeah, simply all I need is reasonable suspicion. No, That's you it. Don't. Have you had a lot of contacts with the police? Like I do. In you guys are bullies, dude. This seems like a good time to bring up the necessity of having a good sense of humor in law enforcement. Now, some cops would get angry with this guy, but Frank realizes that this guy is wasted and stupid. And he's actually screwing with him. Frank the cop should be teaching classes on dealing with auditors. But I, I don't understand why you're so you're so hostile towards me. Take me out of my car like a criminal, dude. You want to pull me out like a criminal? Well, dude? you're committing a criminal offense. That makes you a criminal. If I was, then you'd physically pull me out my car. But I don't want to physically pull you out. I run registrations all day long. Yeah. Looking for expired registrations, looking for suspended plates, looking for suspended drivers. I do it all day long. Here's my partner on the other side here. So what you're going to do is, um, so I'll make sure we take those out, put those up there. So go on and hop out for me. No, I'm not hopping out, dude. So I don't, I don't want to, if you don't, Get out because you're under arrest for a criminal offense. I didn't do anything wrong. He didn't, he didn't tell me what I got put over for. He didn't say I was speeding or swerving or anything. Okay. He just said, hey, let me see if, your... You get, if, when you get out of this vehicle, 
it's my, my partner there will tell you exactly yep. how you pull Up on out. Why, why are you going to run now? So, so this is what we're going to do. I'm either going to, you can be cool, and you can get out on your own. I'm not getting out because that's what you guys want. You guys want me to fight. Like, no, we do not want you to physically fight us. I, I, I don't want, want you to fight. I'm giving you. To fight, do, but you listen to me. me. To agree with you, and I don't. I'm not nope, agreeing. you don't. You don't have to agree with me. However, See? you are required by law when given an order to listen to that. Yeah. Okay, and you have to obey. I if you don't get out of the car, I'm going to remove you. And when I remove you, I'm going to put my hands on you in a manner that is much more aggressive than the conversation that we're having going? right now. Okay. Are you going to get out? You get out. Gonna out. Come on, get out. Out you come. So that's what we're going to do. Come forward. Hand behind his back. There we go. See? Just like that. See? Very simple. You know, I know from firsthand experience that cuffing somebody while they sit in a car is next to impossible. I'm now starting a fan club for Frank the Cop. Frank has the calming voice of a Buddhist monk. I would get out of the car. So this is what we're going to do. Come forward. Hand behind his back. There we go. See? Just like that. See? Very simple. Very, see how easy that was? So right now, like I said, you're under arrest for driving on a suspended license. There's also suspicion of DUI. No, I didn't. Okay, because you're showing signs and symptoms of drug impairment, and it's my job to make sure that you're driving while safe. Okay? Not only the fact that you're, not only the, not only the fact that you're unsuspended, no. But also the fact that you have all these signs and symptoms that are consistent no, with you're impairment. you're saying that, dude, because you know you get you get me agitated, dude. Like, I, sir, there, there's yeah, nothing yeah, I've done. I guess I, get, I guess I am play, playing into the mind games that you're get, getting me, but like, dude, like, I'm not drunk or anything like that, dude. I'm going, I'm on break right now. I'm just going to work. It. Well, I know, I know you're not drunk. Well, Hang tight back here. Take, and take my away, no, dude. sir, it's, that's that's not my job. <sighs> oh, some people just don't like us. You know, I know that the auditors listening feel that Frank the cop was wrong about accusing the guy of being impaired. He violated his rights. The auditor probably just had a learning disability and it was okay to give him a ticket and send him on his way. But you'd be wrong. It's marijuana. That's a marijuana That's pipe. Marijuana. He refused to uh, submit to a, a consent draw of his blood. So I obtained an e-warrant, an electronic warrant, through the uh, Superior Court, uh, which was granted, and now he no longer has the right to refuse. And we will, uh, if needed, take blood by force in order to obtain evidence for uh, the crime to which I believe he committed. Uh, Octio was the road you were on. Uh, yep, absolutely. Or you could just very simply stay out of Pinal County. But you can always try being nice. There we'll leave it with Frank the Cop a true example of a law enforcement officer who's comfortable in his own skin and maintains a good sense of humor. You know, it's even possible that Jason Gutterman and Angry Craig would enjoy shooting the shit with Frank the Cop. The John Legato Show is being broadcast from outside the gates of Marine Corps Base Camp Lejeune in beautiful North Carolina. If you like our show, uh, subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything, and we do not ask for any personal information. Semper Fidelis.